Hi everyone, this is Vern from Go Geezer. And today we're gonna to talk about setting up a North Face Storm Break 2 tent. It's an easy tent to set up and you're gonna really enjoy this. So let's get to it. The Storm Break 2 from North Face is a great tent for backpacking and camping out of the back of your car. Once it's set up, you get 43 inches in height and about 31 square feet of interior space. At five pounds, five ounces, it might be a little heavy for some people to backpack, but all in all, I think it's a great tent for both backpacking and car camping. The tent is big enough for two people with plenty of room for gear. It features water sealed seams, pockets in all four corners, vestibule, and little tags for you to hang your lights and other equipment from the ceiling. It uses aluminum poles in an X pattern, which provides a very strong structure once the tent is set up. The interior wall has a well of about eight inches, which means your floor will be nice and dry, even if you happen to be camping in a muddy area. The wall also has a nice mesh, which should keep the bugs out, even the noceums. The exterior wall will keep the rain out and will also keep interior condensation to a minimum. Okay, let's see what comes in the package. Okay, uh, what you have is these little stakes, which I'll talk about in just a little bit. The black rods, uh, which I'll talk about in just a bit as well. And the gold rods. The first pack here is, is the actual tent. And then this is the rain shield. And this is an extra piece and it's called the footprint. And I'm gonna show you how all of that works together and the package back here is where it all packs into. Now, let's see how we can turn that pile of stuff into this great looking tent. Step one, lay out the footprint. The footprint is a large piece of plastic that goes between the ground and the bottom of your tent. It protects your tent from moisture and sharp objects. The one I have is from North Face, but you can use a tarp or any large piece of plastic. Step two, Lay out the tent. Make sure that the netting is facing up and that you know where the red tag is. You'll use that for orientation later. Step three, the gold poles. Grab the gold poles and start assembling them. Once you get them assembled, lay them in an X pattern across the tent. Step four, attaching the rods to the tent. On one end of the tent, I like to start on the end where the red tag is. Insert the silver end of the gold pole through the eyelet of the tag. Then lay the pole back down on the tent. On the tent, find the two clips that are closest to the tag and clip those onto the pole. Do this for both poles on that end. If you have a north face footprint, make sure that the pole goes through the eyelets of the footprint as well. Go to the other end of the tent and attach the black clips to the poles on that side. But don't put the poles into the eyelets just yet. Step 5. Raising the tent. Find the topmost pole and grab it and step on the tab that's on that end. Now, push the pole towards the tab at the far end. This should cause the pole to bow, forming a nice arch. Insert the silver end of the pole into the eyelets of the tab that's under your foot. You can let the pole go, and if it falls over, that's okay. Do the same thing for the other pole on that end. When you bend the pole, you should note that the tent will now start to rise up. Once you insert the pole into the eyelet, the tent should be freestanding. Make sure you clip the top of the tent to the topmost pole. Now assemble the black poles and attach those to the black tags on top of the tent. Make sure that the black poles are over top of the gold poles. And then attach the clips from the tent onto the black poles. Now it's time to attach the rain shield. Find the red tag on the rain shield and make sure it's oriented with the red tag on the tent and the footprint. Okay. 
always forget this part. On one end, roll back the rain shield to expose the black rods. Inside the rain shield, find a black tag with an eyelet, then attach the tag to the black rod on that corner. Do this for all four corners. Starting at the corner with the red tag, put the end of the gold pole through the eyelet of the rain shield. It should be the bottom most eyelet. Now use the loose end from the buckle and tighten the tag. Do this for all four corners. Let's talk about stakes for a moment. North Face, along with every other tent manufacturer, provides these silver stakes, which I never did like. So I bought these J stakes. They're also from North Face, but you can find similar stakes elsewhere. I think they work much better than the ones that North Face provides. On one end of the rain shield, find the center tie down and attach it to a stake and pound the stake into the ground so that the top of the stake is facing away from the tent. Do the same to the other side, making sure that the tie down is taunt. Now stake down the vestibule tie downs on either side of the rain shield entrance. Do this for both sides of the rain shield. And you're all done. You can tie back the flaps of the rain shield on either side to provide some really nice airflow. Or if you like to have some privacy, once you're inside, close the rain shield on both sides and also close the netting. That'll keep the bugs out and it'll keep you nice and snug. Monsieur et Mademoiselle, vous entrez. And that, my friends, is how to set up a North Face Storm Break 2 tent. It's an easy tent to use and an easy tent to love. Please stop by this channel for other Go Geezer how-tos. Stay tuned.